welcome to my book fair. This is a quick um, showcase of books for little reception readers and year one as well, really. We all read at different um, stages, don't we? So I've just laid out a selection from the easier to the left and they go get a bit harder as you go to the right. Um, but if you've got any specific um, requirements, just let me know and I will see what I can find for you. I just leave that there so you can have a look at how to place an order if you're watching on YouTube. Um, obviously, if you're watching me on Facebook, then please just pop me a message and I can do it like that for you. Right, if we get started over here, put the easier ones at the bottom here. So I'll show you Captain Mac. Sorry, it's really tricky to do the hardback books with one hand. <laughs> so, as you can see, there are some words for the children to read and some for the adult, which is really nice for them when they're a bit younger because it's, they like to take it in turns, don't they? <laughs> and it means there's a bit more of a story than just the children's words too. And as you get to the end, there's a few little questions. So there's the picture puzzle there. And there should be another one as well. There we go. So there's a few titles I've popped there for you. Grizzly Bear Rocks, slightly trickier. There we go, a bit more for the children to read on each of their pages as they get harder. If you want to see inside any of these books that I don't show you and just ask away. So then we'll have a look at On the Moon because this is a really popular one. We're all very intrigued when we're little by space on the moon, aren't we? So again, it's got the questions at the back, the puzzles, to check understanding of the story or the facts. And then these books have no longer got any words in for the parent. There we go, that's On the Moon. What else shall we have a look inside? Ooh. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Quite a few of these are traditional stories in there. really popular ones are the phonics readers these are the single stories i've got here um, but you can get them in books of um i'm not sure how many stories are in one book now but quite a few stories in one book together um, and they're quite they've got really good um, pictures and they're quite funny little stories as well so this is unicorns in uniforms and then i pulled out skunks in trunks for you to have a look at and hullabaloo at the zoo which is the newest release of the phonics readers and most definitely my favorite one it began when giraffe gave such a great laugh that leopard fell out of his tree he startled some bears who tripped on the stairs and went splat in the crocodile's tea the croc got a shock and ruined their fox which came all the way from peru they jumped from their cages and went on rampages. What a hullabaloo at the zoo. I'm not reading anymore because I don't want to spoil the story for you, but we quite like this one. <laughs> and then we've got some more here. Traditional ones. Danny and the dragon. You can see the mouse's wedding there as well. That's a lovely little story. tricky to decide what to show you it's not as easy as um, a face-to-face -face book fair where I can lay them all out for you to have a flick through at your own convenience so there's over 3,000 books so you can always have a look on the website and see what you like the look of or pop me a message saying help we do do them by reading bands as well so if you want some books over them reading of the reading band your little people are on or what have you then all you need to do is ask away i've also popped here um some that would probably be for you to read to the children but they're just popular stories um that they would enjoy so we've got the sticker dollies i'm sure they'll have seen the sticker dolly dressing sticker book baby dragon so where the sticker dollies get a mission through on their magical watches and they go to princess coco's to get everything they need for um their mission so be it clothes or equipment or what have you. There they are, that's Madame Coco. Um, and there we are in the department store where they go and see her. And then 
they go off on the magical train to the Enchanted Isle to, in this one, save the baby dragon. We've got Unipig or the Unicorn Pig. These are really funny books with amazing illustrations. So some favourite bedtime stories for sure. <laughs> um, Un uh, Princess P is not a typical princess. She likes jumping in muddy puddles and instead of having a unicorn, the royal unicorn, she has a royal unipig. <laughs> and so yeah, I'll not tell you anymore because I don't want to tell you what the stories are about. <laughs> But she has lots of fun getting into mischief with her unipiggle. If you are watching on Facebook, you'll be able to see that I've uploaded a um, video by the author, um, Hannah Shaw. And have a look at that because she shows you inside the books and things like that as well. It's quite nice. We've then got Billy and the Mini Monsters, Monsters in the Dark. Um, so... These explore first experiences, there's 10 in the series, so the, like, there's the Monsters Go Swimming where they're trying to encourage Billy to go swimming. But Billy has five little monsters that live in his sock drawer and they eat his socks in his school tie. There they are. Gloop, Fang Face, Captain Snot, Peep and Trumpet. And they get up to mischief, go on adventures, um, but they help P Billy deal with his worries. There you can see... The comic book style parts are from the monster's point of view, and then the rest is from Billy's. So they're really fun stories as well. So there's just a quick flick through some of what we've got on offer. But please ask away if you'd like to see in any or want to make an order or anything like that. Thanks for joining me. Bye!